Right, here we go. October 2020, the AS paper one, the pure paper, question nine. So we're getting through this. Okay, so this is, oops, figure three shows part of a curve and equation three cos x. The points C and D is a minimum point on the curve being uh, C being the smallest negative value of x with minimum, where the minimum occurs, state the value of C and D. So we know that uh, cos graph starts at zero, gets to a maximum of one, cos x, and this is 180 here, and this will be minus 180 there. So we know something has happened. It's an outside transformation because it's happened outside the curve. It's three lots of f of x is what we're doing because we're timesing it by three. So it will affect the y values um, and a scale factor of three because it does what it says on the tin. So where this point here was minus 180 um, minus 1, because that's the lowest it will go to. This value here now is minus 180 minus 3. Good. Okay, so thinking back to that graph then, where our point CD is minus 180 minus 3, we're then adjusting this graph with that point to this way. So from the 3 cos x to 3 cos x over 4, we've had an inside transformation so it will affect the x values because it's timesing or dividing we know it's a stretch parallel to the x-axis scale factor of four because it does the opposite of what we would expect so we're going to times our x value by four which gives us the new point being minus 720 and then minus 3 because the 3 doesn't change. Basically, it's been stretched um, along the x-axis, pulled apart along the x-axis. Okay, so the next one, same kind of thing. So we're going back to the original curve. So it's definitely an inside transformation because it's inside the x-place. So it will, again, affect the x values. It's a translation because it's a plus and a minus. So it would be by a vector, so it's just moving it. And again, it will move it in the wrong direction. So it's in the x value, we're going to add 36 to the x, and nothing's going to happen to the y. So we literally have got minus 180, and we add 36 which gives us a new point of minus 144, still at minus 3. OK, final, final part. OK, we have got sine, uh, so that. So that then goes to 3 cos theta equals 8. Tan is sine theta over cos theta times both sides by cos theta, you end up with 3 cos squared theta equals sine theta. Using our sine squared theta plus cos squared theta is equivalent to 1 identity. I'm going to rearrange it to say cos squared theta equals 1 minus sine squared theta. That's the rule I am using if it will let me put the two things out. So I'm going to do three lots of 1 minus sine squared theta equals sine theta. I'm going to multiply out the bracket. And then I'm going to shove it all on the other side so that it's 0 equals 3 sine squared theta plus sine theta minus 3. Um, I'm oh, where did the 8 go? There's an 8 there. That should be 8. It's not a good start, is it? Mm -hmm. 
Um, yeah, be careful, the 8 is there, it's only at the top, it's not everything. So and then I would put that straight into my calculator, we'll see if I can factorise it. So 3 sine theta sine of theta, oh yes, 3 and 1 gives me 9, make that a plus, make that a minus. So I'm left with, I'm just going to go up here, 3 sine theta minus 1 equals 0, so sine theta equals 1 over 3, sine theta minus 3, sine theta equals minus 3. That's impossible, so we cross that one out. Inverse term, inverse sine, sorry, of 1 over 3 gives me an answer of 19.47. Now, that is lovely. However, we want the answer between that. So, you need to then think about your sine graph. That's 360. I'm not going to fit it all in, am I? Right, let's find somewhere else. Change my colour. Yeah, I'm not going to... Nope. Okay, we're going to go here. See how far we go. 360. 720. Oh, that's not too bad. I'll have to go too far. I'll get rid of the rest of that. So, 360, 720. We had the first answer was this one at 19.5. So it's that one, that one, and that one. So we, between 450, which is here and there, this is the only answer. So that would be 360 plus 180. This is 540, so it's 540 minus 19.5, which gives me 520.5, and that was the only answer they're looking for.